Well, it's a beautiful spring morning here on Monday here in Colorado. Yes, we got a nice little spring snowstorm. So I thought I'd share this with everybody. It snowed on Sunday and this is Monday morning right now. You can see it's still snowing. We have around eight inches. And you can see all the snow on top of my little bush here and my trees here and up here on the roof you can see how much snow we have yeah so what better to do than stay inside and get some painting projects done so that is what I'm going to be doing today and I'll probably have to finish everything up on Tuesday so I thought I'd come out on the deck here real quick just to show you how much snow is over here you can see how much is on the railing So I think we need to head on inside and get started on the painting projects. Okay, well I've sped up all the painting videos here. Now this is that thrift store item that I got and that's the original color. The top and I am just taking my light ivory paint and I'm pouncing. I'm trying to keep as much black as possible but I will be going over it with some black too. And when I do the pouncing technique, it's probably gonna do two or three coats of this and it does, does give it some texture to it when you do that. touching up a few areas here that I still see some of the yellow-orange color. So then I'm going to have to let this dry. And I probably might have to do another coat, maybe two. dry and I'm gonna start working on the rooster. Now I'm gonna paint his tail feathers and his head light ivory. Not much different than what it is right now, it's just a shade darker. But I don't want the chippy look to it. So I want to get this all covered up. I'm trying to figure out what I want to paint the wings here that have the little dots on them. I'm thinking I want to paint them red. I did finish the head part and let it 
drawing. Now we're going to do the body black. Now I'm not being super neat with this because I know I'm going to be doing tons of touch-ups here and there. Plus I only have one coat of the light ivory on at this point. So. just going to paint the body and the legs all black. I'm not sure if I want to change the color of the legs yet. I know I don't want them to be the yellow like the beak. So I'm going to try it with a black first and see if I like it. To get a smaller brush to get up closer to the head area and do the feet. Not sure what I'm going to do with the base yet, so I'm going to leave that alone for right now. I think I'll paint it all white ivory first and then decide where I want to put some black and red on it. So now I'm going to finish up the finial. I'm going to add some black. I'm going to be touching up the spots where you can still see the yellow orange color and where I had to put some of the light ivory over it. And I'll probably add a few more spots of the black. Now I am only going to do this with one coat, so I have a lot of paint on my brush. I'm doing this really thick and I'm pouncing it so it will have the texture to it.
I'm going to add a few more here and there where there wasn't any. do is some splattering. I take my old toothbrush, I dip it in some water, then I dip it in my light ivory and I pounce it on the paper towel to take some of the liquid off, use my finger and flick the bristles of the brush, and I'm doing this all over on the black. I'm just not liking how the black looks right now, being so dark. So you can see the little splatters on there. You want to make sure that you tap off the liquid on the paper towel, otherwise you will have a runny splatters on there. And I just do it lightly, because if you need to, you can always go back over and do it again if you want it a little heavier. dry and then I'll do a couple coats of the sealer on it. That's what it looks like. Now let's get started back on the rooster. I have all the red and the yellow on it. Now I'm going to work on the harlequin pattern. I'm so glad this is carved in because otherwise I'd have to draw this on. have to do a couple coats of the black and I'm doing it as neat as possible right now but you know there will be some touch-ups that will have to be done. I think that's the longest part on doing these roosters and that hen is all the touch-ups. With all the detail to it it's hard to stay in your line sometimes because your paintbrush doesn't always cooperate. some of this. I do like how it's looking so far. It's a little difficult with those tail feathers in the way to get on the back of the head.
be finishing the rest of this up and let it dry and then get started on the tail feathers. Good, now that I have the head part done, I'm going to do the tail feathers. I think I'm going to do black and red, just a little touch of red. Do the black first. really the easiest thing to do on the tail feathers. I seem to have more touch up on this part when uh, on the other ones that I did with the, the swirls, trying to get them look right. Just that one guy? some more detail work on here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the light ivory striping on the body. Well, this one's a little more difficult to do. I'll probably have to, probably have to do three coats of this light ivory over the black and then of course tons of touch-ups as usual.
the problem with the striping on here is they don't have a clear ending to them. They just kind of fade out. So I'm going to have to do my own endings at the bottom of the stripes. Here is what I've finished on him, and now we're going to put the dots on. I just take the end of my paintbrush, dip it in the paint, and then just tap it down. And that's what you do. You can make them big, small, whatever you want. You can, you know, on here some of these are a little bit bigger than the other dot that was on here. But quick and easy to do this. Well, as you can see, I've added some gold paint to the feet and up on the back of the wings and then I put some down on the base too. So now I'm taking my yellow paint that is on his beak and I'm making my little marks with it. And I'm just going to make these marks on the Harlequin pattern only, and then I'm going to do more of a wash on the rest of the ivory. So when I do the wash, I just add water to my paintbrush, dip it in the paint, put it on, and take a damp paper cloth and just tap it and rub it also. You can make it darker wherever you want to. I know this looks a more, little yellow on here, but it's just the lighting in the room. Okay, now I'm going to be finishing up with putting the yellow on, everything that's light ivory, and then I'll get it sprayed, and we'll see how it looks. Well, I did get my painting done, the majority of it, on Monday. I had to do some finishing touches yesterday. Got everything done and sprayed. Now, the spray that I use is the sealer finisher, and it's in a matte finish, and they do have a gloss. You can use any kind of sealer brand that you want where it says sealer finisher. And I do two coats, sometimes three if it really needs it. So here is the French country piece. Okay, let's go into my bedroom. Now, I did think about splattering the black on here too, but I thought, well, that might be a little too much. But I do like this, and I did put two coats of the sealer on here. Ready for the rooster? Okay, here he is. So, he, I put about three coats on him. <laughs> I wanted to protect him pretty good. I love how he turned out. Got the pops of gold here, got some gold down in here, and a little bit on each side of the wings there. So I think he looks really elegant, you know? He could be Tuscan, he could be French country, he could be great for Christmas too. I love him. You know, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with him yet. You know, I was about doing a, maybe when I do my next giveaway, maybe he'll be my giveaway, I don't know. I do like him though. <laughs> Okay, well you might be seeing something sitting here on the table and maybe something 
way back over there too, but we're not going to talk about that. We will talk about this though. So I did my study, redid the shelves last week, and this was on one of the shelves. And I mean, I love this piece, but I wanted to do something different with it. I thought it'd be really prettier, looking more French country with some lighter colors. I thought about doing it like this. Then I also thought about, since it's got the Harlequin pattern, doing it Mackenzie Child. But I don't know how I would do it that way. I can't figure it out. I know I'd leave, I'd make this section black and this black and then down here black. These are more like a, a charcoal with a little bit of touch of brown to it already. And this is all raised, all this pattern here. So I'm not sure. You could also do a striping up here on the top. I mean, I think it would look really, really nice, but I'd have to think about it. This one would be more of a challenge to do because you could also do the striping, the different colors here too, as you can see. And you know, I got this many, many years ago at Hobby Lobby, of course. And uh, it was originally $39.99 and it was on clearance for $13.60. So and it's really heavy. So I think that's a good, a good deal for that. I really love it. I said this is probably gonna be my next project. So the rest of the day today, I've got to get into my formal living room because I am organizing all my spring flowers. So I thought, why not? I'm starting to put a few things away. So I thought I'd just uh, get in there and organize my flowers in the bins, see what I don't want anymore. Because, you know, there's sometimes, you know, I've had some of these flowers for a long time. And I think it's time to get rid of some because I did get a few new ones last year. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to purge. I'm going to have lots of stuff for donation because I even cleaned out my study, too, when I was redecorating the things that I just don't really care for anymore. But, of course, you can't do any donating yet. So there will be a lot of boxes down in my basement with that. So that is it for the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I should have a tablescape tomorrow. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have a video on Friday or it'll be Saturday. So we'll have to see what I'm going to do. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day. And I hope that everybody will stay positive, stay safe, and stay healthy. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.